You're listening to the Go Fish Podcast for Kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Go Fish have a feeling kind of snazzy, a little rock and roll and a little razzle dazzle. Put them all together, that's how we make our sound. We like to crank it up so you can all get down. Hello again, my friends. This is Jamie from Go Fish, and I am just so incredibly happy that you're listening right now. Today we're going to continue preparing for Easter, and then this weekend we're going to release a special Easter edition of this podcast, which is going to be one huge podcast party. I can't wait! You know, I have to say, I've really been enjoying hearing from some of you and have loved the pictures and videos I've seen on Instagram of you rocking out to our music, having dance parties in your living room, and creating sidewalk chalk masterpieces to tell the world that Easter is coming. It makes me happy to see the joy that so many of you have. I love it. And you know what else I love? Dad jokes. It's time for the dad joke of the day. All right, everybody knows that dads love corny jokes and I'm a dad and I love corny jokes. Why, I don't know. We just do. So, here we go. What did the little baby chick say to the coupon? Cheep, 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 cheep. And that was the dad joke of the day. (laughs) You know, I think dads love corny jokes so much because it's fun to hear people laughing. Laughter is contagious, and for that, I am thankful. God gives us all lots of things to be thankful for, doesn't he? I'm thankful for my family, good food to eat, and my little dog Lucy who loves to crawl up on my lap and snuggle with me when I get up in the morning. Another thing I'm thankful for is this time with you. So many things have been getting canceled or postponed lately. Times like this are a good reminder for me that even when God's plans are different than mine, His plans always end up being better, even if I don't understand them. His plans are for my good and for His glory. And His glory is always for my good. Wherever you are today is exactly where you are meant to be to shine your light for God. And I was blind I couldn't see the light I tried but couldn't find it Yeah Then the darkness went away Someone who knew the truth Shine their light my way God's word is a lamp A ladder to my feet The truth has been revealed I am now complete So I can shine like a star in the night
We have been talking about what it means to believe in Jesus. We have read Bible verses that reminded us that God sent his perfect, sinless son Jesus to this earth to be a sacrifice for our sins. When Jesus died on the cross, he was completely separated from God, which means that we don't have to be. We can ask God to forgive us for our sins, and because of what Jesus did, God will forgive us. But here's the thing. Jesus dying on the cross is not the end of the story. I could tell you what happened, but I think it would be more fun to read what happened from God's Word. So if you have your B-I-B-L-E and would like to read with us, you can look up Matthew 28, verses 1 through 10. If you need some extra time to look it up, just pause the podcast until you're ready to rock. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him clasped his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Matthew 28, 1 through 10. See, I told you what happened was amazing. Three days after dying on the cross, Jesus rose from the dead, proving that he was God, proving that death had been defeated proving that everything he said was true.
Thank you so much for listening today. And don't forget to check out our special Easter podcast, which will be chock full of music to help you and your family celebrate the fact that Jesus is alive. I also wanted to let you know that you can download a free Easter coloring page and activity sheet at gofishkidsmusic.com. Just click on the podcast link. If you'd like to share your incredible coloring skills with us, you can have your mom or dad post it on Instagram using the hashtag GoFishKidsMusic. That's all for today. I'm looking forward to celebrating with you on Easter, and until then, I hope you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are awesome just the way you are. For great music for kids that won't drive parents bonkers, look up Go Fish on your favorite streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and Pandora. To learn more, visit GoFishKidsMusic.com.